Melody Lane here, and I'm really excited to be able to show you the new design space. This works on the Cricut Explorer or the Cricut Explorer Air, the new Cricut Explorer. This is what happens when you open it up. You get a video you can watch or choose not to, and then you can click this once you watch it and say do not show again. But I'm just going to leave it for now because I haven't actually watched it. <laughs> Let's hit done, and this is a lot like the old Cricut Design Space. It has some Make It Now projects, which are really kind of awesome. They just keep adding to it and getting more and more. And over here, there's categories. Home decor, fashion, gear, cards, photo memories, kids crafts, parties, events, paper crafts, free, and then free for the Cricut Explorer Air. So I'm guessing these are ones that are free, specifically if you have the new Cricut Explore Air. I'm not quite positive about that. That's just my guess. Let's go ahead and look up here. You can click File, and you can go to New Project, or you can go to My Projects. Let's go to My Projects, see what comes up. Okay, so because this just started, all these dates are about the same except for this. And I have a lot of projects. So this is how they're done now. You can edit a project, you can delete a project, and then this is checked. I think it just automatically checks if it can be public. It can only be public if it's all Cricut images. If there's any uploaded images, pictures, or SVGs, or anything, you cannot share it. Okay, and let's go to a new project. And this looks just a teeny bit different. The layer panels are over here, and they're all within here. But you could drag it to anywhere you want and open them all up if you like, or you can just throw them back over there. And the zoom is no longer over here. It's down here. You almost can't see it, it blends in really well. So make sure when you're looking for zoom, don't go over here and freak out, it's just right here. And let's see what's under here. Make it now, new. My Projects and Save As, and then the Save. Okay, let's go ahead and insert image, see what happens here. I like how they change the circle. It's bigger, you can see it better, and you can try to follow it. <laughs> Keep you busy while you're waiting. Okay, and last I was looking at this, I was looking at the Close to My Heart art booking, and it came back to this too. So let's just exit that out. And this is where it usually comes in on all images. And when you mouse over it, you notice it does not get bigger anymore. But you can make them all bigger by clicking this button over here. Or you can see more if you click this. So. If you want more information on it, you can click the little I and it will tell you the name of it. So if this is what you search, you will find this. This number, if you put in that number sign or hashtag with these letters, you will be able to put that in search and it will bring that up exactly. So if you have images you want to tell somebody, you can use the same images. If you remember this image or write that down, you'll be able to look it up again. Everything else here is pretty much the same. Let me go through the images. So search among 50,000 plus images here. And you can also do categories. You could do featured. Oh, featured this week. So these are how you find the ones that are free this week. Every week there are free images you can use. And most popular, 
no results found. We are still in, in beta, so maybe that's not generated yet. And then these are brand new ones, recently added. So here are some new ones if you haven't seen them. That goes down to the frozen ones. And you can have this here and still search here. And then the cartridges, the cartridges are in alphabetical order. So instead of just little boxes for the cartridges, it shows you an example of some of the images. And it tells you how many are in there. And let's say you're looking for the close to my heart images. For the close to my heart images or cartridges, you have to own them to even see what's on them. Unless you look at the handbook online. But to see them or play with them in design space. Actually, I don't even have to write that. I just put it. I probably just type close. So all the close to my heart images start with close to my heart. And these are not close to my heart, but they have the word my in them. So everything you type up here, anything that has that in it will come up. Let's just go back to close and see. See now it's only the close to my heart images because I don't have the word to and my in there. So those are so easy to find. Let's exit out on there, and then it goes back to all the cartridges. Let's go back to my images, and I'm gonna make them smaller so we can see more. And then there's filter. It's over here now instead of to the left. So this little, I guess it's a filter. To me, it looks like a funnel. You have new categories, my images. So this is all the images you own. You can go to Uploaded. These are all the images that you uploaded. Well, these are the ones I uploaded. And then you could go to Free. And if they're both checked marked, they're going to be both uploaded and free. Let's see, there's mine again. Or I can uncheck Uploaded, and I'll just see the ones that are free. And I also like it, you can just click the ones that are in the subscription. That's kind of awesome. Because when I'm sharing files, I like to use something in the subscription, if not owned, so more people can use it. Or you can just go to the ones you purchase. So if you know you're not going to keep your subscription and you want to use images that you just purchased and own forever, then you can click Purchased. And I'm going to unclick the free. So then these are the ones that I purchased. Look, I have 28,911 images. I don't think I'll ever be able to use them all. But I have so much to choose from. And then I can reset all. So then it brings the filter back to nothing. And then you have 3D objects, backgrounds and textures, borders, cards and envelopes, frames, phrases, printables, or single layer and multi-layer. You could check a bunch of these if you like, like if you want 3D images, and you want them in the subscription, and... Well, 3D images are probably mostly single layer. So then it brings you all the 3D images that are single layer and in the subscription. Okay. 
Now, some of these might say purchased, and I only check subscription, but that's because I purchased them and they're also in the subscription, but these are the ones that I own forever. And you'll see there's none with a price because I have the subscription. So nothing outside the subscription will show. And then here's some that are free. And then it shows you here, single layer 3D objects and subscription. These are all ones I've checked. And if I want to uncheck these, I can just click it again. And then it will bring me some multi-layered ones because first I asked for single layer. So it'll show me all the single and multi-layer images that are 3D and in the subscription. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can edit some of these images. So thanks for watching, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video, but first, here's a shout out to a few of my supporters on Patreon. Antonio J, Cindy Bolton Dupe, Nancy Potke, Donna Vicar, Melinda Strange, Scrap to Giggle, Jennifer Tomasek Sinsley, Jim Eber, BB Leak, and Lynette Gregory. Thanks everyone. Bye.